It's here, guys. We finally have a way to go back and get any missed soul emblems or substories we may have missed, and it's super easy to do. In case you're not aware, my name is Philip Price, the Gamer Dad, and today we're showing you just how easy it is to use Trunks' time machine. By the way, if you find this video helpful, be sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Pulling back the curtain a bit, we have to hit a thousand subs before we can start earning a dime here, so, you know, do the right thing. Click the sub. Ring that bell. Hook it up. Hook it up. Moving on. When you launch Dragon Ball Z Kakarot anytime after March 19th, you get a pop-up letting you know that you can now access the time machine. Once you load the game, Dr. Briefs will apologize for the wait and tell you where the time machine is located, which is by Capsule Corp. And it's on the southeast part of the property. Anywho, talk to Dr. Briefs for a quick rundown of the time machine tutorial style. The too long didn't read version is as follows. When you travel back in time, you can only control characters available during that time and they will not be leveled down from their current level. Main story items cannot be taken from the present to the past or from the past to the present. Not really sure what story items that would affect, but hey, if you guys know, please let us know in the comments below. In progress substories won't carry over from the past to the present or present to the past. While in the past, saving and auto saving will also be disabled. Once you get past these screens, you get the option to choose which chapter you want to travel back in time to the Saiyan Saga, the Frieza Saga, the Cell Saga, or the Boo Saga. Once you choose a chapter, a full list of all the main stories in that chapter appears. You can then press a button to instead see the sub-stories list. As you scroll through the list, you'll see that some main stories have no sub-stories in them. You'll also see a star next to the sub-stories that you've already completed. Now keep in mind that not every sub-story you'll see in these lists will reward you with a soul emblem. For example, you can see here that I missed the sub-story Master Roshi's Prize Possession, but again, that substory does not reward a soul emblem. For a full list, check out my guide on JustPushStart.com. Link to that will be in the description below. Admittedly, it's not a complete list yet. I am working on it as fast as I can, guys. I don't have a ton of free time as I do work full time and I am a full time dad on top of that. So I appreciate your understanding and your patience. If you're a dad, or if you have a dad that you can appreciate, don't forget to like and subscribe. You can also follow me on Twitch, where I stream every Friday night. Link to that, also in the description below. Anywho, once you choose a point in time to travel to, you'll get further notifications detailing what we've already gone over. You'll have access to a limited menu screen, and once you exit the menu, you'll find yourself replaying the mission you chose. And that's it, guys. I know this video went a little bit longer than our typical videos, but I appreciate you watching. And if you like these longer, more informed videos, please let me know in the comments below. I'm still playing with this channel to see what kind of videos you guys like, so make sure to let me know. For now, this channel is dedicated to gaming guides done quick, so for all your gaming guide needs, stay tuned to Ice TV. <laughs> well, that wasn't much fun. Ah, say goodbye!